So, last time on The Flash, we had... Hey everyone, it's Heather, and this is Season 6, Episode 7 of The Flash. Um, I know this series doesn't get too many views compared to my other series, and I think it's because so many reactors actually react to this show. It's, like, completely oversaturated. Um... But if there's only a handful of people here, or I think I get about 20 people, uh, hello, how's your how's your week going? Are you having a nice time? Um, so thank you for dropping by, and we'll watch The Flash together, and we'll make fun of anything that needs to be made fun of, and uh, we'll have a good time. Um, so last time we had a super fun and super cheesy and super over-the-top James Bond escapade with uh, Barry and... Ralph going on an adventure to try and find Sue Dearborn, otherwise Dearborn, uh, otherwise known as Ralph's true love forever, um, even though they haven't met yet. And that was that was that played out exactly like a James Bond movie with super villain and a rich party and uh, playing games and a missile going to destroy everything and a countdown and. You know the way things go. Um, and they played it up and they referenced it themselves. So it was it was really fun. Um, the other stories were... There was two other stories. Cecile and Chester had a little... She tried to help him get a date, uh, which failed miserably. But um, he might be sticking around, maybe. Um, and the other one was Allegra and Nash. Nash trying to get her to use her ultraviolet powers to, um, to basically get access to Monitor. And him convincing her that she doesn't have to be villainous like her, her cousin. Um, just, you know, using our powers and she gets to choose who she wants to be. Uh, so she helped him in the end, even though he, he's still going to, like, he's still implied that he's going to kill Monitor, so I don't know. She's an accomplice. Uh, or an accessory? Accessory, like a, a necklace. Anyway, so that was last week. Uh, this week, I have no idea, but I think a week, two weeks from now, is going to be all the crisis stuff. And I'm going to be reacting to every show that is involved in that, um, even the ones that I don't watch, like Supergirl. So that's going to be weird. Um, I'll be like, oh, I don't know this person, I don't know that person, even though I kind of know them from other crossovers. Uh, but I think I'll have an advantage with Batwoman, because hardly anybody watches that, and I've been watching the whole thing, so I'll be like, yeah, I know that. I know Mary, I know uh, Catherine. Uh, and they won't be in it, but, you know... So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, let's let's get straight into uh, This Week Flash and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, yeah! Forgot about that part. Look at this! <laughs> yeah, get him. Oh, they both have, they both have, like, stretchy parts to themselves. Don't take a line down, Ralph. I guess you're wondering why I'm doing this. Because he's evil? You're evil. <laughs> Just check the car out. The poor whoever owns that car. This this is this is great. Oh no! Did he get infected? Gonna send me a thank you. Just worried he's infected. When I drop you off as a gift, I've already given you a gift. Don't kill Ralph. Don't kill Ralph. He's still okay. He's still okay. Get him back to Star Labs. Yeah. Frost, how do we save him? I don't know. I can't fix this. Maybe Caitlin can. Speed healing is the only thing we've seen that can repair damage this year. Maybe if we gave him a blood transfusion, that would fix him. He's, I can phase him. 
no killing Ralph. He still has to meet Sue. So he'll be, he'll be fine. You don't set up that storyline and not pay it off. How? How did you... You just slimed you your, your way in? Offense. You're the Flash. You were struck by lightning. What are you, a mind reader now? Hologram? Hologram. Again, you never saw this coming, did you? Is he in his head somehow? Makes one believe. Or is it a dream? I don't think it's a dream. No, it is a dream. No slimy man. What if she just didn't write it? This is the same guy that kidnapped your cousin Esperanza and turned her into a meta assassin against her will. Are there any other stories you want to work on first? <laughs> what could need our what, attention what are you, in this? What are you talking about? Is this really what matters the most to you right now? Yeah. Now, come on, get your stuff. Iris is just gonna have a stakeout date. Work up right yes. up until the point that it happens. You just had a nightmare. I don't know. It's like, how did he get in? Like, Ramsey seems so real. Did he infect him? Something feels when he phased he into finger on it. Into Ralph, maybe. But he didn't touch him with his. It was only the needle that phased. What the hell is going on here? I don't have time for this. I'm late for work. Which is where exactly? None of your business. I I work here in the okay, parking lot. You know what? You're right. Maelstrom Couriers with the premier name in high-end transport. Maelstrom. Transporting what exactly? Whatever the wealthy would prefer to keep under the radar. You're an Uber for the Uber rich. What I am is late. It's a wordplay. Sorry to bother. Yep. But I still right think he works in the parking lot. Meanwhile, back in Ari's Barry's delusions, looking for slimy man. I know that's not his blood guy. I don't know what his name is. Ghost of Christmas past. What? What's going on? You're the speed force. Oh. Yes. It's manifesting itself. I've missed it. A small amount of Ramsey's cells remain from the attack, hidden from the eye. That's how we know the Flash. This is all in my mind. As we speak, Ramsey's infection is spreading through your body and your mind. It's up to you to resist him. I'm trying to take you over. He wants to take control of you and bend you to his will. Then he's gonna lose. In photo, that mystery man was a dead Maybe end. Iris is just doing this to take her mind off us. Come on, Allegra. Or could talk about how your husband is the Flash. Ta-da! Nash Wells told me. You're not gonna... This is gonna get trippy, I think. <laughs> Anything could it manifest. Come on, Barry. You know it's all in your mind. I'm all about these mashed potatoes. Mm, I'm gonna need a fucking help. Frost routine. doesn't like mashed That's potatoes. I've got homemade lasagna. Yay! Yay! Ramsey's here. Our best friend with his lasagna. Mmm. Tasty blood lasagna. What could you possibly offer me? And everything. <sighs> That's creepy. Super creepy. Maybe you can convince him, like, I can save you from this with my super healing blood. You don't have to die with my help. And Barry has to reject it. Hmm. It's like all the people who have died These deaths so far. None of them had to die. Join me. You can't save everybody. And you'll never have to. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's through door number one? Nora, you can watch her grow up. No, it's not real. I just, please, I just want to pretend. Um, just, just for a second, I just, please, I want all my pain. Why are you showing this to me? We all die without you. You leave me alone forever. She's even faster than ever. Ooh! Oh, I wonder if we'll see him Barry. in the crossover. It doesn't have to be like this, Barry. Here, let me show you. Accept my lifeblood, and you could use it to achieve so much more than I ever could.
he could bring people back f t to life a hero beyond your wildest by just touching them. Their powers combined. Save the world and live. Save the cheerleader, save the world. He might be tempted if it wasn't so disgusting. Like if it was white light coming from his palms. Just confess the truth. Do you have doubts? I do. It's a beautiful life, Barry. All you have to do is choose it. Choose life. Ooh. You must gather your strength. Fight against him. Time is running out. Witnesses heard the explosion, but didn't see much else. Like a ghost did this. The guy you questioned was killed in the same lot you questioned him on the same day. Sorry, words. This blew away from the scene. I thought about turning it into the Maelstrom. cops, but boss, this really feels like a job for your husband's friend. Camilla knows that Barry's the Flash. <laughs> Seriously? Everybody knows. Since when? Last summer. Cisco used to be vibe. Okay. Nobody has checked in on Barry at all. They have this convenient side plot to worry about while he's I'm sorry it took me battling. So to Ramsey's infection is stronger than anything we've ever faced. I'm sorry I let you go. No person is immune to fear and doubt. But the courage to move forward, even in the face of overwhelming odds, that's what makes you a hero. I needed to hear that. These lies. So convincing. That's because he never lied. When he, he manipulates the truth to spread his disease. So the part about his cells allowing me to save the world from crisis and uh oh, and still survive, is true. Yes, but that path's not for you. You must understand. That you want me to leave behind everyone I love when there's a way to save me? Speed Force has only ever tried to be a guide on this path that you've chosen. The lightning bolt shot down from the sky and struck me! I didn't choose this! It's you a cool effect. This was done to me! Very scary when he's angry. Don't often see it. Please understand. The role you play is vital to the balance of all things. Oh, stop. How many times do I have to suffer for you? When is it your turn to suffer? Do you even feel pain? No. How could it? The Speed Force isn't human. It doesn't know what it means to be alive. You have to fight it, Barry. These aren't your true feelings. Maybe you know about the truth. This isn't what you look like. This isn't my old bedroom. It's a trick. That's this true. This is you manipulating me, so I'll do what you want. That's not true. I care about you. All it cares about is using Barry. you. Barry. You're not my mom. You're the reason I buried her. The Monitor, Thorn, the Speed Force. For too long, others have used you. Take command of your life. I'm sorry. I have to. It's the only way to survive. You would lose the best of you. Your joy, your passion, your light. The part of you that Iris loves. Listen to it. It lies. This is cool. Only you can defeat this very choice is yours. Battle for his soul between two forces. Unresolved, I think. You beat it. I'm not convinced actually. I think maybe he could still be you know, he could have accepted. We don't know what happened just at the last moment. Just because he woke up doesn't mean he beat it. I wouldn't be surprised to see his eyes go black at the end of this episode. As he gave himself willingly. That's what makes him deserving of the greatest title of all. Hero. She missed all of the, st the actual stuff this episode. Hey, Nash. Meanwhile, back at the monitor's lair. I like that. Find Ramsey, stop him, make sure there's still a world left to save. I think he's infected. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. He's acting so weird. 
They can't see it, but he's acting weird. Why do you ask this go? We could go home, spend some time together. Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> Come on, Iris. <laughs> Put it together. She knows something's up. Hey, guys. That's not Barry. Yeah. Iris is MVP. Black eyes. <laughs> that is a big problem. Because he's super speed and now he also has mobile wall. Now is he completely controlled by Ramsey or do you still have Welcome my blood brother? Soon the entire world will embrace Bloodwork. Bloodwork, that's his name. Don't kneel, Barry. I'm surprised you're doing this so close to the crisis stuff. Well, maybe maybe they'll resolve this whole Ramsey storyline. <laughs> oh, I like that. Maybe they'll resolve it, like, um, completely before crisis stuff. Because leaving it as a dangling thread, kind of, you know... We kind of hint that Barry doesn't die in that, but, you know. So that was episode seven. Um, apart from the small little side quest with Allegra um, and Iris, we, which didn't, it didn't really lead much anywhere. Um, it was all contained with Barry and being infected and trying to he was, he was being, like, it was like two forces, a light side and a dark side, trying to, you know, pull at him and get him, him to do pick. And, uh, you know, the speed force, you know, it's not exactly the light side. You know, it's not, it's more of a... How can I describe it? It is sort of like it was described by Ramsey. This sort of unfeeling, unhuman, inhuman um, force that doesn't have the same sensibilities or motivations or feelings that humans do. And trying to bend Barry to, not its will, but to push him along in certain directions. Um, it was interesting seeing Barry deal with his devils, his doubt, and he's, he hasn't been given any options. You know, it was, it was, before this episode, it was sacrifice yourself, save billions of people, don't sacrifice yourself, everybody dies. Those were his two options, and... And this time, Ramsey has given him a third option. This sort of, you can have both worlds. You can have everybody lives, and you also get to live. And you also have the power of life. Um, and all it'll cost you is your soul. Uh, and I'm not saying that Barry took that deal knowing that he would lose his soul. But I think he had so much, you know doubt like that monitor guy not exactly the most convincing person not exactly the most trustworthy person he just sort of uh appears and says his statements but it's not very um clear that we can trust him even though i, th I think we should or we're supposed to um but yeah so it's, it's not surprising to me that barry took the lifeline even if only for a second, he gave in just a little bit, and then Ramsey's blood just took control. Uh, he'll still get out of it somehow next episode, I think, because uh, I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to check it right this second, so you're going to see me checking stuff. Just looking up the calendar for when episodes come. Uh, let's see... It's November, so go to December. 
So there is an episode next week, episode 8 on the 4th. Yeah, so that to be continued from this one will be concluded next time. And what will happen? I don't know. Maybe the Speed Force will talk to him. Maybe Iris will get through to him somehow. Uh, I think it has to be Iris. Or Joe. Joe's speech. One of one of those two. The power of Joe's speeches are beats everything. Um, or maybe Barry will talk to himself. So... Yeah. I enjoyed the episode. I enjoyed the, the visual effects, the 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 weird stuff that was going on. And it's probably the episode the first episode this season where I actually like Ramsey as a villain. It's the first time he's actually felt threatening at all. And not just stupidly over the top, slimy like evil for the sake of evil. Like, he's still that sort of person, but at least now he has more of a threat. He can affect people, he can take them over. So, you know, now that he has Barry in his thrall, uh, yeah. Maybe if they kill him, they'd see there's another way to, to save Barry. If they kill him, then everybody he's turned into a zombie returns to normal. But I don't... That's more of a... That's not really Barry overcoming him. That's more the team overcoming Ramsey. So I think Barry will do it. But I could be wrong. Uh, so thank you for watching. And I hope you have a nice week. And yeah. If you watch any of my other stuff, I'll see you in a couple of days. I think The Mandalorian is next. And if you don't, I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, see ya.